Greetings and welcome back to Monster Harvest. I'm Catherine of Sky and in the last episode we planted a whole bunch of stuff and I was gonna get some slime here to change one of these plants into a planimal, the brain kin. So let's go ahead and bless it with a slime. You might wonder why I don't bless it when it's just a seedling. That's so I can change my mind later just in case I want something else and if we have very little stuff around say let's go harvest this harvest that nice all right so now we have um stuff we've got brainkin and we've got some glow fruit can you imagine <laughs> eating something called a brainkin that might be very tasty anyway we have a brainger hooray let's go ahead and put him in the front here and then so we can see all of our lovely planimals and let them do their thing uh, I think this is harvestable as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just harvest this. Yes, it is. Um, now, what we can do is we can create backups of these animals if we want to. But I think, um, yeah, I think that's not going to be <laughs> uh, necessary for now. I think we're going to be okay, I hope. Uh, in getting stuff going so let's go ahead and save we'll go ahead and send those off for money and we'll go ahead and put this into our mm, savings box for other stuff so uh, we need to w uh, water stuff of course we always need to tend to our crops that's important but I want to keep on working on the uh, leveling up that's a really important thing because if we want to have easier watering, for example, that comes from leveling. And that is something that we, I really, really want to do. So in that vein, I'm going to go ahead and just spend a lot of our uh, energy in basically harvesting a whole bunch of stuff, as in all of these, the wood, the, um, the rocks over here as well be chopping down a few select trees that I think we don't need. Right, there we go. But all of this is going to be helping us too because we really really need to go over and get a um, go get the stable organized and the barn. But right now we can't really do much uh, with money because we don't have any money. <laughs> it's not really a, that ideal. Um, but it's okay. We're going to be, it'll be fine. Okay, let's go to bed. And then. There we go. All right, waking up. There we go. It is night time. Okay, let's just go up here where we saw some other stuff. Eh. Aye. Oh, there we go. Okay. I didn't see that rock there and I was like, why can't I pass? What the heck's going on here? Now, another thing we can do is definitely upgrade our tools. That will also give us quite a lot of salmon savings, which will enable us to plant more crops, also do more dungeoning, that kind of thing. I love like, this little glow fin. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> It's like my little rarik. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go next day. All right, so 320, that is not a lot of money. Where are we on the calendar right now? Okay, so it is, yeah. We're at the end of the month, the dry season. So we need to start uh, only planting. I think we need to just plant... Um, our friend the radishes even though they're not uh, enough profit or not a lot of profit they're enough profit okay, let's get these okay good good that's exciting we don't have to water today so that's a happy thing hello all right let's sell these potatoes um there we go so those potatoes let's see i'm gonna look at my spreadsheet real quick oh whoops um New potatoes, right, they sell for a hundred. So any of those that are worth 50, they sell for a hundred uh, at the shop or well, at the consignment board, I should say. 
Excuse me. Thank you. Wow, two slimes. That was cool. Um, and any of the other ones, the ones that cost 40, sell for 60. So it's really not a great deal to buy the 40 uh, cost ones because they aren't actually worth double uh, the same as the 50 ones are. So it's much better to uh, get the ones that cost 50 instead. They have a much, much higher profit margin. But we only have a few days left in the month. That is our main problem. And I don't know if we plant it today. Does this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's, you want to try it? I guess we should try it. Let's try this. Let's be on the edge. They take six days to grow. So we're just going to hope that means six. Okay, so that's six seeds. And we have 20 left. But it's going to be a profit of 600 if we get it all growing well. Oh, one thing I want to look at is our friend, the Slime Master, how much it costs to get that special uh, super slime. Okay, so Blue's super slime is 1,200. That's a lot. So our, our pickaxe upgrades and stuff, they're all 1,000. So that's going to be something that we think about next time as well. We can give him a gift. Ah, oh, nice try, I guess. Okay, it's something. It's something. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, or unless you're checking its teeth. I don't know if gift horses like being looked in the mouth. I don't know if they really care. Like, do the teeth have eyes? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I haven't really, like, been up at close and... Pr I, I, get, I did ride a horse once. Uh, it wasn't very, uh, I don't know. It was okay. It wasn't thrilling or anything. Okay, there we go. There we have our stuff. Uh, watering is already done. So that means, guess what? It looks like we're going dungeoning, I think. So we have 38 iron. I'm almost tempted to sell that iron, but we get some pretty cool stuff uh, later on in the crafting journey. So I'm like really hesitant to sell stuff. Oh, look at this. That's fun. We are 200, 200 um, stuffs. Why did I do that? I should have just moved the other one over. Anyway, that's really great. This is kind of great. So why don't we take a nap and let's go dungeoning. We can uh, we can upgrade our, um, yeah, our, what do you call it? Jeez, words. Upgrade our experience in the dungeon. We're not going to have more, more wood. But we are going to get our planimals more experience, and that's quite exciting, quite important as well, if we want to do higher levels of the dungeon. Now, we don't have that many planimals right now, uh, but we will. We will have some soon. All these slime-powered stuff. That's interesting. I love the twinkle lights, though. That's so cool. Big fan of twinkle lights. Yay. Okay, so we're going to acquaint ourselves with our new animals, planimals, abilities. Okay, we have, wow, many entrances here. Let's go ahead and get our sword out. Just to be able to strike first. Let's go ahead and leave this room. Didn't look like it had much in it. Oh, wow. Perfect room. Jeez. This is a perfect room. So much gold. Wow. Jeez, I feel like King Midas or something here. That's a great room. I'm going to go ahead and leave that uh, green shard right now. I feel like green are the least valuable right now for me because green, they basically help your planimals grow or they help your crops grow instantly. So if you put a green slime on, then your crop will just be grown up completely. We can look at the little, there's a little chart here, which is really nice. Um, and if we look at the green stuff, yeah, see here we just have radish. You just get a radish and maybe a bigger radish or something. Uh, maybe it gives you more money. I don't know. But what I'm looking for is here. Look at this. There is, this is the mount that you get. So this one looks very like a bird. This one's like a bear, maybe. This is like a dinosaur, maybe a raptor. And this looks like a horse or a zebra or something. Um, so I'm kind of excited. We, we'll get to choose those later, I think. 
Okay, so let's see. That's our gold. Anything else in this room? I think we're good. Let's so take our sword out. Again, empty. Wow, okay. We might be getting really lucky in this area. Oh, gold is blocking us. Oh no. Okay. So far, things are going really well. Take this. Because later we can make some... Oh, wow. Happy days are here again. I love these slime rooms. They just take one hit of the sword. Um, there is a, a way to upgrade your sword to a golden sword as well. Uh, but I'm actually not... I don't get it. I'm not really sure why yet. Uh, there might be more difficult enemies later. But so far, I have seen almost, like, no reason whatsoever to upgrade a sword. Okay, let's get... Hmm. Red crystals are the most common. Oh, wow, that's it. We're done. We are done! Nothing left. How much stuff do we have? 29 gold. That's amazing. That is three tools almost. We need 30 to get three full tools upgraded. But one more trip to the dungeon ought to do it. That was really strange. We didn't do a single battle. I guess we could have done one battle just for funsies. Um, and get to... Try to even get to the end of level 1 in the dungeon. Because there is an end to each level. And you get kind of like a chest of goodies and... Um, like materials and stuff. Which is really helpful. But... Uh, in those runs, I usually skip uh, harvesting the iron because you don't, I don't know, there comes a point where you don't need it as much. So, wow, when we have 20 of these, that's crazy. That's great. Really good. All right, let's go inside. Our brainkin should be ready to harvest tomorrow, which is going to save us some work, which is good. 700 from our mutatoes. Hooray! Now, all right, so let's harvest these guys. Do we want another brainkin? Probably not, I'm guessing. I don't think we really need... Oh, look what we got. We got a pickler. Mm-hmm. Can you say mm-hmm? Yes. All right, I can say mm-hmm. Now, these brainkin uh, fruit are quite... Uh, they are the expensive fruit. As in, they're the 50 costing 50 uh, somethings ones. Now then, where do I want to put a pickler or several? Maybe up here? Let's go up here. Okay, I'm going to make a couple of these picklers. Now, picklers, now these cost uh, 10 iron each. I'm going to make four. They make stuff from... I'm going to go ahead and just put them all in a row. You can space them out a bit if you want. I don't find that it's necessary. Now, to feed them, it's a bit weird because it's like, I want a gift. Uh, you just right-click them when you're holding the thing. Now, they take about, I think they take like three days or something to make the thing. Um, so, hopefully, actually, I'm, I'm not sure. We might want to even, no, 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 don't, don't eat it. Don't want to eat this stuff. Let's save four uh, for another batch, and then we'll sell the rest. I'm being very, very cautious with the money here because um, these things, actually when you pickle them, they come out. So instead of selling for 100, they're going to sell for 150. Uh, the only investment is the iron, and of course you can use these multiple times. They don't require any fuel of any kind, so it is just free money. But it's later money, it's not today money. So that is one of the things that I've been kind of waiting to get with the crafting recipes is the pickler. And then there are some other items that we're going to get later on as well. Let me kill the slime. Hooray. No, anything here? Nope. Let's go up. Now then, the question is, do we save money or do we, what do we do with the money? Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five days left. We can buy... Things that cost four. I think that's probably the best idea. Let's go ahead and get radishes. Or should we get glow fruits? Glow fruits are very pretty. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get those. All right. Get several. 
All right, we can buy 18 of those, which is very nice. All right, and let's see. It is not Friday. We do have a festival tomorrow, so that means the shops are closed, which is kind of a, um, well, there is one shop at the festival, so that's always nice. And they do sell more seeds. Now, did I just make a big mistake there? Maybe. I might have made a huge mistake just then. Uh, because... I'd really like... You know what? I think we need to go forage for some more stuff. And the reason I say that is... When you go to these festivals, at the end of the month, they sell you stuff that you're going to need in the next month. And while that's not terribly critical in and of itself, um, they do give you a heads up and having more materials for next month, as in you can have a wider variety of seeds for the next month. So I do want to buy one of each of those, otherwise we may have to wait till the next festival happens. Oh wait, we need just to go up. What am I thinking here? So, um, yeah, basically I think in each new month you get two new seeds, but at the festival you can buy two additional seeds. And so those are the ones that I'm looking forward to, to acquiring right now. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we can find some more foraged stuff or forageable stuff that will give us, there's 40, yay forget how much these are but check behind the trees all of them hello help help the flowers don't count uh, of course I could always sell some rocks rocks and wood are worth five each now you may think I'm antisocial, but I, I feel like the conversation with a lot of the people is a little bit useless. I guess we could give them gifts and they they promise, um, I looked this up, so if you give them gifts they will give you a recipe eventually, uh, which is cooking basically, which we haven't been able to do anything of. I don't uh, know if, I think there are other recipes from quests, I don't know if we need anything else like we have to buy a stove or something like that. Um, but hopefully we will be told in time. So here's the community center. It is only open on Fridays, of course. Because that's the way the world works. Okay, it looks like we are not having the best of luck with these different uh, things. Oh well. Alright, we have two of these fruits. I'm not sure if those are worth 20 or 40. But we do have one of these. So we have 40 plus um, at the minimum 60. So that's 100. That should be enough to buy one of each type of fruit. I believe they should be 50 and 40 each, maybe. Or maybe 40 and 40 or 50 and 50. In any case, it's going to be enough. I'm quite happy about that. I'm just like a little bit relieved. I really don't want to sell. Oh, we also have these flowers too. Uh, that's nice. It's a little bit more. I don't know how much the other stuff is worth, like the slime and, and stuff. All I know is the, uh, is the wood and the stuff. I guess we could sell our backup plan of um, brain fruit, but uh, that's not ideal. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and sell this stuff here. Sell this, this, that, and this. Okay. Very good. Let's plant the other things that need planting. Okay. Okay. So that should be good. Those should finish in four days. Yeah, the profit on these ones is really not high and it's the only reason to do them I think is really to either have consistent food for the dungeon um, or of course to get your planimals because planimals are kind of good. The way the planimals are organized by the way is that you can have one of each in your inventory as in following you around on the list that we saw previously. The, if you press I here, this list, 
Um, otherwise, the excess, the duplicates, will go into the planable pen. Uh, all right, I think we're going to harvest from out here and then just go to sleep. Okay. Let's get this one. Okay. All right, and we are out of energy. Darn it. Um, but anyway, so it automatically kind of puts duplicates in the other thing. You're not allowed to have two of the same planimals on your fighting team. That's kind of important to note. Uh, so you can't like level two at the same time or anything like that. But you can switch them out between your planimal pen and your team. So that's uh, an option that we have, which is nice. Okay, what do we want to do here? I think we need to start chopping some of these trees. Let's chop this one. And let's chop this one. Now, so far, scarily enough, I have not found any form of tree planting. But maybe that will come later or in an unlocked area. I'm not quite sure. I've been really focused on getting the farm up and running. Uh, that's really been a big uh, interest for me with stuff. All right, so let's, let's get these guys going. Okay, so we should... Oh, I forgot about the money in the box. Oh, nice. I forgot about those other things. We have so much money. Hooray. Kind of great. Kind of great. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. So now we definitely have tons of money to buy what we need to buy. So we'll go and head out to the festival after we're done watering. I like to get the day's chores out of the way first. It seems like at these festivals, they don't really have any, um, like, strenuous activities, shall we say. <laughs> so so here's our brain fruit still processing. Good, good. Uh, let's sell this. And I guess we can just be off. Yep, I wish escaped work there. That would be so nice. Let's put this in. All right, very good. 22 red stuff. Man, in my other game, I was really struggling for red slime. Uh, it was pretty, it was like, oh my god, I'm having to combine shards and stuff to get red slime. It was horrible. Uh, but I was also playing the dungeons quite poorly, like really, mm, what do you call it? Like testing my limits, shall we say? And the limits were, <laughs> should not have been that tested. <laughs> Yeah, it was really rough. So anyway, but it's okay now. We're we're playing the YouTube game. And this should be... This is something that I have learned from, obviously, in, in doing the test games and hopefully able to share some of that with you. All right, let's go. Wait, is it festival day? Oh, no, it's at night. Oh, no. <laughs> Silly me. Who would have thought that a festival would, festival would be at night? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. How many days do we have left? Um, looks like we have four days. Should we mm, try to plant a little bit more? A little bit greedy on the money? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't give us much profit. That's the main problem. And there's so much work that goes into it as well. You know what? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to just plant more. I'm just going to focus my energy on getting energy and spending it well. Spending it well. Uh, incidentally, you can chop trees here, for example, if you want to. Like, if you want to create a path through here. They do grow back, but they grow very slowly. So if that's something in your interest, uh, that is something that can happen. I tend to not to chop too many trees from there because I feel like, you know, it's nice to have some trees there. It's I'm already like completely deleting my farm here. <laughs> not completely, but yeah, it's a lot of a lot of chopping and and clearing and stuff and I guess it's okay, but Go. Okay, good. 
Okay, and stamina needed. Let's go and get that. Really want to get that stable going. That's going to be important. All right, let's sleep till evening. All right, and waking up time. Let's go. Okay, let's go out to that festival and see what we got, what we can buy. Get our sword out in case we're hit by marauders, highway, highway robbery men. Yes. Man, that's a creepy sound. The night sounds here are really creepy and I don't know why. It should be friendly and things, not like, I don't know, the howling of something, the moaning of something. All right, nighttime festival, hooray! All right, and now we have a party time. Oh, wow, can you believe all the beautiful fireflies? It's really beautiful here this time of year. Oh, I read beautiful twice. It's fine now. Yeah, we are... We have lots of people to talk to. <laughs> Night festival is a great idea, but it's already past my bedtime. Aw, you poor thing. It's so hard to see out here. Where did my hubby go? Aw, her husband is the scientist guy. He's over there. Okay, so we can now get radberry seeds and crab apple seeds. So I'm gonna buy one radberry. Okay, and now this will appear in the general store. Okay, and let's get all the crab apple seeds we can. Yay! So those are plantable in the wet season. I'm just gonna buy all of them. All of them. Because we need the money. And they have all kinds of like rugs and stuff. I'm not... I gotta say I'm not really very impressed with um, a lot of the furniture. It seems very kind of basic. Um, that's a kind way of putting it, I think. Um, the colors seem like really ultra bright and kind of I don't know. Very generic feeling. So I hope that better furniture options get added at some point. Anyway, this is the night festival. Let's see if we can talk to our uncle. Hey, Catherine, did you know there was a town here over a hundred years ago? Long before my lab was even here, the residents used to celebrate the night once a year. With Planimal Point being so new, the rest of the town and I thought it would be a nice, it would be nice to revive the event. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, so that's a thing. Hello, did you chase me down? Oh no, you didn't, you're fine. That's Doc Marshall. Anyway, we have uh, one of those things and, and many of those things. So let's go ahead and go back home. We have very little energy, so I think I'll spend the rest of it in kind of like harvesting some stuff on the way home. Because we still need a bunch of things. Yes. See what we can, if there's any like stray rocks around here that are needing to, to go away. There's some wood. Also the best wood option does seem to be the logs rather than full trees, which is a very strange idea I know, but um, let's go this way. This is so thick over here, but like a full log Three, four, five, six. Um, six gives, how many was that? I've seen trees give three logs before. Uh, that that looked like more, but it, it's like, eh, why? <laughs> we, hi, help. So anyway, if we try to plant these, they will not plant. So, yep, you cannot plant crab apple in the dry season. So that's that's kind of important to note that we have to plant them after the dry season starts, which is not for a couple days yet. Okay, we got one mutato going on there. All right, so what's going on now? We got a, oh, let's just water stuff. Brainkins are still working, making jelly, hooray. Alright, that's good. 
Now we could easily save those as well for um, making into jelly. That is a possible, or preserves, not into jelly. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? I'm thinking of future tech, which there is a jelly machine as well. And it will make your stuff sell for even more, which is quite nice. All right, let's go ahead and put in this stuff. Okay, so we need more trees, not necessarily more, well, we do need some rocks, not a lot, but some, okay. So let's go ahead and put this stuff in here just to, hi, sad times. Uh, but now I'm going to wait until we actually have real crops to do stuff with. I think, I think we just need to keep on trucking here and just keep on going at our, in this area to clear stuff and use our energy here. It's going to help us out by clearing and also just giving us some materials. And also our XP is going up as well. That's really a very important thing. Hello? Tree? Help? This is the invisible tree. It's not good. Okay, there we go. Okay, and we're done. <laughs> we get done really quick. Really, really fast here. Let's go to evening and then just use up a tiny bit more stamina while we have it. Creepy mooing is back. Lass. Okay, and I don't think I have enough to chop a full tree. Is there any more that I've left here? Oh my gosh, I smell cooked food on the wind. I think my mom is probably cooking some interesting stuff. All right, so I think we are good. What I can do is, can I do this? No, I gotta go to bed. Gots to go to bed. Eyes tired, yes. Okay, 200. We have rain today. Now, today is what day? We still have one day left. Today is also, we can go over to the community center maybe and just check it out. Now, it's important to note um, that we did get these berries going. So that they were four day plants, but the potatoes were five days or the, um, what do you call them? The mutatoes, mutatoes, yes. <laughs> I'm thinking rap potatoes, but that's a different game, I think. <laughs> oh, I learned how to make blue slime. Hooray! That's very fitting, I guess. <laughs> okay, and these are done. Right, great. So, hmm. Now those potatoes are going to be done, and we'll have four for those. I think we're going to take these out and put in the um, these guys, the brain fruit. All right, so let's just you right click it to take it out and then right click again to add. And then we get some preserves to sell or pickled stuff. Hello, pickled brainkin. There we go. That's a lot of money in those jars there. Woohoo. Okay, and we're going to sell these blue things, the blue glow fruits. And that's going to be that. Happy days are here again. Okay, and what are we looking at here? We need a little bit more wood and a little bit more stone, but mostly we just need a lot of money, lots of money. So what do we wanna to do today? Let's see. I think since it's Friday, let's go up to the community center. We haven't actually seen that yet in our game. Now, I am not going to let my pets get killed. <laughs> I don't wanna do that at all. That's like horrible. Wait, that's, oh, that's wood, Never mind. Whoops. And I'm thinking maybe I'll go to the dungeon because we have enough um we have enough stamina for sure to go today. Uh I feel like it's a wasted trip right now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Cause I gotta go back to the house again 
to go up again to get to the thing again. But it's okay. We're gonna... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. We'll go there. It'll be fine. Maybe we'll even find some fun stuff along the way. But it looks like it's hiding from us today. Alas. Ah. It's okay. It's fine. Alright, let's go through here. Oh, we did find a melon. Hooray. Let's get... Oh, and a mushroom. Hello. Nice. Mushrooms are great. Love mushrooms. Watch this great documentary on font. It's called Fantastic Fungi on Netflix. It was great. Wow, it was great. Anyway, hey there, Catherine. So you finally made it here to the rec center. Before the bridge broke down, we used to pl battle planimals here every Friday. It seems like the more you battle planimals, the more you learn about them. They even seem to level up faster after being in competition, if they survive. Why don't you give it a try? We have everyone in town ranked into different tiers. Each time you beat a tier, you'll get a badge to prove it. Make sure you always come prepared for a fight. Some of the townspeople have pretty powerful planimals. Yeah, and see, so he says this, and then if you talk to this person and you fight them, you don't know even what uh, what level his planimals are. Uh, and I, I really don't want to get mine killed. <laughs> I really don't. It's like, nope, I don't want to. Nope, sorry. I'll wait. I happen to know that the first group is, oh wow, there's nothing in the chest? In my test game, I came up here and there was uh, four platinum, but there's zero right now. This is, this seems shady. Mm. This is not good. I don't know. Maybe it's because I continued from the demo. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's okay. We don't really need it. We're going to get mountains of platinum shortly. Platinum is a material that we need immediately, if not sooner. Yes, we need it now. Now is the best time for this, and the best time is now. Okay, let's go to sleep, and then let's go to the dungeon. This is so weird how these are, like, jumping around. <laughs> it's so silly. I do love the graphics in this game, though. They are so pretty, and I love this kind of, like, sort of almost steampunky feel to stuff. It's great. Not a big fan of this area, though. It seems like it takes a lot of time to get through mount. I need a mount. Okay, just focus. Focus, Zenwise, on the mount. The mount will be here soon. Do not fear. It shall be here. Now, is this edible? Let's see. Alright, maybe elves eat it. <laughs> okay. 50 energy. The E with the 50, that means energy. So let's go ahead and grab other stuff. I'm gonna put the seeds away right now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Bad. Okay. All right, let's take this. This is the food we're going to take with us. So let's go ahead and snip on over to sleep land evening. Okay, good, good. Let's get out of here. Now, one thing that I feel is very underutilized is a mailbox. We have a mailbox. But I guess we are completely friendless. Nobody does mail anymore <laughs> or something. Even just to get like a random, I don't know, like a scam in the mail. That would be something. Uh, but there's no mail ever, it feels like. Like really no mail ever. I think there was mail like on the first day we came in and that was it. So that's a feature that I think could use a bit of work. That would be nice. Just it, like a little bit of flavor, you know? Little bits. Okay. We are in the dungeon. Let's go. Level one. Okay. Uh, let's try to get further. Let's try to get platinum because I really want some. I'm going to ignore the iron. I'm going to farm the gold. Gold is important for a while. Let's go down. Keep our sword out. This room communicates to the right. Do we care about that giant eyeball? Let's go the other way. I don't know why. I should have just gone that way. There's no reasonable reason why. Okay, this is not the way because this is sealed off. So we have to go down if we want to progress. 
We can try to sneak by, by the way. Um, but I'm thinking it's maybe not possible. No, it is possible. Wow. Okay, cool. Let's see. A blue shard, I think, is worth farming for sure. There's an animal there. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid it. Um, this is a room that doesn't go anywhere. I want to get to level two of the dungeon. I don't know if we're really prepared for it yet. Oh. Okay. Shoot. Okay. If you see the ant pl animal coming for you, it is best to just swing your sword. Uh, if you can't escape. Okay. So here's our ranger. Let's bite it. Bite, bite, bite. Now, one thing I would ask for here would be to have these commands the three bottom ones on hotkeys one two and three that would be very helpful because right now you just have to click them every time and i feel like it's a nice like keyboard shortcut that could be added for this all right cool all right ranger got a little bit higher hooray so let's go ahead and move ranger down Okay, I'll go with the Mutanko next. The Mutanko. Now, do I want to get those? Eh. Actually, I do actually want to get those. Probably. Nah, I'm going to save it for the Platinum. Save it for the Platinum. Yes. This room goes down. We might be able to get out of this. Oh. Oh, no, no. I didn't get it. Dang it. Okay, we now have a level three planimal. That means we've unlocked the second skill. Frighten your foe. Decrease the enemy's damage for the next three turns. Higher chance to miss. So there we go. So this is great. We're going to save a lot of HP doing this. Oh, no. He neutralized me too. <laughs> no. Bad. Sad times. Okay. Let's see if I can just keep on hitting him. I just need one more hit. Ooh, almost dead. This is bad. Ow. No. What happened? There we go. There we go. Gee, that was scary. Really scary. Oi. Okay. Okay. So, let's put Radcross up next. <laughs> Jeez, that was really rough. So that's why I like to avoid these fights sometimes. Because they can be quite, quite difficult or quite mm, rough to get through. Okay, so we now need to find a different exit. All these beautiful resources sad that we cannot get them all. This little guy keeps on going around. Ooh. Hope, 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 hope. Could maybe try this way. Can I go? I can escape. Yes! Okay, this looks very I don't know, very, very slime company. Alright. Okay, this is a boss room. You can tell because there's a chest. And this thing always seems to be the boss. Let's see if we can get through this. I don't know if we can, but we're going to try. All right, so this is a level five. We're going level two against level five. It's going to be a bit rough, but we'll see. Okay, nice, nice. Good job, good job. I need... Oh, I don't think we're gonna survive. Nope. Radcross is gonna die. Nice. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe. Oh yeah, we are. We are definitely. Cause six. No. Sad times. Okay, but we did get two hearts for that. Um, that's important for later land. Our Glowfin ended up killing the boss here, so Glowfin gets to level up. And we get whatever's in the chest, which can be kind of a variety of materials, a little bit of wood, some seeds, and then titanium. Titanium is what, what we're after right now. And we did indeed lose our Radcross, so this is bad times. 
But it's okay. We're going to progress, hopefully, and see if we can get some titanium. Uh, we'll go on to level two next. My cat is climbing on me. Oh, oh, this is a great room. Woo! Okay, cool. There's actually titanium in this room, too. This is pretty great. This is like great land here. This is fantastic. I like that swinging your sword does not cost any uh, any stamina. That's very helpful. We did get a lot of seeds though. That was really nice. Get this one. Didn't see it before. Oh, sweet titanium. Mm -mm. Mmm. This is what is this? That looks like Thai Thai Ironium. <laughs> Tire Ironium. <laughs> no, those look like iron. They don't look like titanium. Alright, let's see another room. I don't know if we can survive further. Let's see. Let's put the Branger above, uh, just in case we run into something that we can't deal with. Now it is possible to kind of avoid foes, like keeping uh, things be between you, like uh, water and such. Let's eat some of this stuff. Titanium is really important. Now, usually if they see you, they'll come kind of running for you. Oh, we have to go. No. All right. So let's just leave. Yes, leave, leave, leave <laughs> before the snake gets us. Anyway, we did do really well. We got um, 10 titanium. That's not too bad. It's not too good, but it's not too bad. Once we get our um, tools upgraded, life is going to be significantly better, like really much better. All right, let's go home. We lost our Rad Cross, alas, but um, we did gain a lot of XP for the other planimals. Let's see, they are level three, two, and three, so that's pretty good. Also, that window does not close with escape. <laughs> there are quite a few of them. I've noticed the ones where there's like a little X in the corner, those are the ones that don't close with escape. And I would love if they do because it's so useful. I, I press escape for pretty much getting out of a any menu, any menu on in any game, pretty much. It's really very handy. Okay, I think I'm going to save some of these things as food for dungeons instead of money. Because we have gotten ourselves good stuff here. Okay, let's see. This is going to be dungeon food. This can go toward stuff. What is this? Mutato. This is dry season. Nope. This is going to have to wait. Going to have to wait until next dry season. This is a radish. Those are also going to have to wait. Darn it. Because there's just not enough days to grow them. Okay. So that goes there. That goes in here. And we is good. We is real good. All right. We have done well. Anyway, we have a ton of stuff on the consignment board. So in the next episode, we are going to be fabulous. So I'm going to say good night to you in Monster Harvest Land. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.